welcome or welcome back to my channel i've recorded this video so many times or like i at least planned this video so many times before recording it that it feels like i have recorded it at least 10 however it's only the third time i record this video and the truth is that at first i wanted this video to be the first video on my channel so i recorded this last year and this year in January. None of those videos saw the light at the end of the day, but here we are trying again because at least you can say I'm persistent, even if you can't say much more about me. Let's get into what this video is about. If you don't know, or if you haven't noticed, which I guess you already have, but English is not my first language, which is valid, I guess. First one is fast, second one is Spanish, and third one is English. So how did I learn English? I was the kid who hated English, hated languages, got into an English academy four hours every week of English. Then English started going well. Okay, I'm getting quite good marks. Oh, I like it. Oh, maybe I can do that in the future. And right now I'm a modern language student. How did I end up here? How did I start liking English? I always liked reading prior to this process and when I was in secondary school, I started reading Wattpad, like every other bookworm I know. Like if you haven't read the Wattpad, I feel like you have missed out a lot. Well, Tom, I guess, but they are still experiences, right? I figured when I was about to take my advanced test that maybe I could read in English, mostly because I was feeling behind on my class, but I didn't feel prepared for published book and I feel like the same way I did it. Anyone who wants to learn Spanish can do the same because the Spanish Wattpad community is quite big also. That's why when I'm talking about books in Spanish, this video is in English because this video is not directed to anyone who talks Spanish. This video is directed to someone who wants to learn Spanish. The first book I want to recommend is very simple. It's Brother's Best Friend Pro and it's kind of a book that everyone in the Spanish community knows about and it Eres Mia Pequeña by Save Me Tonight with Oya. There is not much to it. It's a romance novel where the love interest is her brother's best friend and that's it. That's kind of it. You don't really have much drama. It's a very simple plotline. You get the third act conflict and all that. So I feel like Eres Mia Pequeña by Save Me Tonight. It's the perfect book to start reading in Spanish for what I remember. It also didn't have a super complicated vocabulary. It was very simple. I maybe read this book when I was 14 or 15 years old, so I guess it will work for you. Maybe if you are a junkie for the drama and all that, maybe this is not your book, but still it's well written but simple enough for new readers to understand, so that's why I recommend this. Kind of with a bit more complicated plot, and it talks about mental health a lot so I don't know if there are trigger warnings there but uh, it talks about things such as SA and eating disorder if you maybe don't want to read about that skip this one but the other one is No Juzgues La Portada by Natalie Hernandez Uno and this is about a girl who has kind of a big trauma package and she has this best friend and they are not kind of the popular kids they are normal but these two new guys show up to their school and they are the children of a diplomat so one of them is French and the other one is Portuguese this is not very important but what you get is that they so both speak one language with their father and Frances talks in French to their father Gabriel talks in Portuguese and I don't know, I just felt like it was cool when I read it. Yeah, you just get a romance between Amelia, who is the protagonist, and Ramses. And that's it, like, love story. But this one, I have to admit that it treats a lot of heavy topics. Now, something which is not romance, because I understand that you don't want to really read all romance. So another one that I recommend is El Infierno de Victoria Messe by Valeria Barlerde. And I think that this book has already a second part. I haven't read the second part, and I'm happy with the book. So if you don't really like seven parts or sequels or whatever, the first book is great. It can be read as standalone. And I actually have the physical copy of this book, but since I'm on my holiday home, I can show you the physical copies. But anyway, I do have some of these physical copies. So let's go to it. Al Infierno Victoria Messe is about a girl who tries to kill her father or her stepfather, I don't remember what it was, with rat poison because he is 
splurging her mother's money. When that doesn't work, he sends her to a psychiatric but in a place kind of shady and so she tries to summon a demon to help her get out of that place but you start getting some murders inside there and you have to get to know who the murderer was and also uh, get her to escape from there and get her revenge against her stepfather you have romance but it's more of a dark romance I guess the next one which I will not call romance this is not romance this is kind of toxic and the author even said this is not the romance you should follow and that Kakomilo I get us open I know that the author has had a couple of controversial tweets or something but I'm not in the loop anymore about Spanish authors so if you know what happened comment it down below and I guess people would listen and this book also treats heavy topics so check trigger warnings I think this one had trigger warning Juliet is a girl who just broke up with her boyfriend and also her parents died so she is in an emotional state when she meets Kaden uh, he ends up also working at a nightclub I'm not going to go so deep into that but I have to admit that I enjoyed it and I was reading it why the author was publishing it so I was all the time it was all the time keeping me on my toes and keeping me intrigued because I tend to stop reading things when they aren't published as a whole maybe the plot wasn't the best or the writing wasn't the best but the overall history and how it kept you on your toes all the time was great the next one i have to admit that i read it a while ago and when i mean a while ago i mean maybe four plus years ago but it's still good in selenophobia by yami chris this is about a girl who suddenly turns to a werewolf and ends up in this boarding school for supernatural but she can't really turn into a werewolf again so yeah you also have like the male of interest and all that and you have kind of a mystery i don't remember well like if i could i would tell you but i don't really remember well maybe i should have done my research but anyway so this is what i have i can say that i was obsessed with it when i read it and i want to reread it uh, for my sci-fi lover you can read asphyxia by alex Minet. this is about a girl who wakes up and suddenly everyone around is asphyxiated and it's because the government carried on a project which was called the Asphyxia Project with some plants that turned the oxygen in I don't know what so that everyone ends up dying because of lack of air but she doesn't and you have to know why so she ends up living in this dystopian world alone till she finds other humans this is one of the books that i did like from alex Miret. i've read others such as perfectos mentirosos and damian i think i started reading it and strange but i don't really love her writing style so i was never able to finish damian or strange but whatever if you feel like you like this book you can check the others from her i'm not saying they are bad plots or anything i'm just saying that the writing style wasn't for me but if you find that the writing style is for you go ahead you have more books that you can discover and now i'm going to go into a specific authors that i like the first one is joanna marcus from joanna marcus i'm going to recommend two books or like two book series one of them is antes de diciembre and this is one i mentioned on one of my videos which was the best and the worst book i've read from kudritz and antes de diciembre was one of the best ones and i agree i completely agree this is a closed door romance so yeah be aware of that if you want spice in your life that's not for you it's about a girl who goes to the other to another state or like to the south of the state to study in university and there because of her roommate she meets jack ross and the other guys they fall in love, they have such a cute relationship after antes de diciembre you have después de diciembre and after después de diciembre you have tres meses so antes de diciembre and después de diciembre are the ones who has the plotline and then you have tres meses which is just a treat for the reader and it's antes de diciembre and después de diciembre combined and from the perspective of Jack Ross, the guy tres meses is the one that I reread really the most and then we have Eterio and Sempiterno these ones are also sci-fi and I don't remember much but it's Joanna Marcus, the rating is very good and I really enjoy her books 
so if you have time to check that out it may interest you or maybe not who knows the next author i want to talk about i only had two authors for today is ariana godoy ariana godoy is an author who lives in the u.s so at first she started publishing books in english but as time has passed she started translating every book in Sp to spanish and right now it's kind of like not every book but most of her books and right now it's kind of a legend on the spanish book like what that community her books are read a lot and i guess that's great the first one is the obvious one which is atrás de mi ventana this book has a netflix adaptation and also has translations i think to english and to french for sure so in english is through my window and is the typical after pipes good girl but boy type of story if you like that i guess go with it there was a time where that book was my comfort book and i used it as a palette cleanser and then the other ones i want to recommend from her is heist heist is a dark romance with mystery it's about this german family that moves in next door in a kind of um a small town that has its own religion and everyone is very linked to the church of that town it's kind of creepy and what happens is that since the old family moved in a lot of suicides start to happen you get the main character lee who wants to know what happens because she's an idiot and a teenager and then the last book i want to recommend from ariana godoy is singing me both this is kind of more on the emotional side of things so even though it's a romance you don't really get too much of the romance you get more of the emotions and the mental health i can't say much about it without spoiling it because i feel like everything is spoiled and even though it's in the blurb or whatever i don't care i don't want to say much about it but if you're going to read this book first check the warning there are a lot of heavy topics and also second think as a book as a mental health advertising kind of same way haste doesn't talk about mental health too much like you get a bit but you focus on the martyrs and dark romance and all that this focuses on mental health and focuses a lot so take that into account so those were 11 books i wanted to recommend i think that's it for today i guess i'm going to end the video here if you already knew any of those books and you want people to know about other books please write them in the comments i have to admit that i also have a book if you are interested in a polyamory relationship between a girl who has an eating disorder and three italian guys which is a weird way of putting this but uh, yeah i also wrote on what but then i have to get back to it so yeah if you want to read my book it would be nice i guess and thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel because i need 100 subscribers so that my friends let me buy books and i hope to see you soon bye